My name is Leanne Royal and today I'm going to show you how to get rid of line breaks within a single cell and divide each line into columns. Um, and these, both of these cells, after the name and the address, etc., there is a line break there. The person has gone in and put in, if, you, if you're using a Mac, they've put in Control Option Return or for the line break. And if you're using a PT, uh, PC, sorry, they've used Alt and Enter. Now, as you can see up here, when I'm in that cell, all you can see is John Brown. You can't see anything else because of the line breaks. Same with the next cell. All you can see is Mary Kay. So even when you go in and you try to break this out into text to columns, it will only show you, we'll go under data, go under text to columns, but it's only going to show you the top lines for both cells. So we, we're going to select delimited and next. And as you can see, that's all it shows you. We could separate it, out, separate it out by space. Let's try that. Go next and finish. And that's all you get. Okay, let's undo what we just did. Now what I'm going to show you is how to get rid of those line breaks and replace the line breaks with a comma so that we can separate all of this information into columns. The name, address, the city, the province, and the postal code into their own separate column. And this is the formula that you will use. And we're going to use the substitute formula or function equals substitute. I'll select it here. And we're going to select A3 and then comma. So we're going to substitute um, <clears throat> the character for the carriage return, which is char 13 for Mac, or it's char 10 for PC. They're different. And we're going to substitute that with a comma. So that's going to be the next parameter. So quotation, comma, quotation mark. And there, if we look in the cell now, no, we can't yet, sorry. I have to make that a, a value and not a formula. So we're going to right click and copy. Right click and paste special. I'm going to select values to make that not a formula, to make it text, and select OK. So now when we look we can see all the information in that single cell. It's a lot different than that. You can only see the names. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into C. No, I'm not. Sorry. I'm going to select B3 and B4 and I'm going to go to text to columns and now when we go delimited and I select next, I'm going to select comma because now it's they're separated by commas. Next and finished. I'm just going to make this bigger and just change this to the same size as the rest of them, which is 16. And there you go. Now you could use this for a mail merge or whatever you want needed to use it for so that uh, it's not because it's now in columns. Um, it would be impossible to do it the other way, this way. So I hope uh, that helped you. I, I know that uh, it took me a long time to figure this out because this was a nightmare and I had a whole bunch of these that were like this. And... Um, I, I had to I had to do a mail merge and so I had to figure out okay how can I do this 
and uh, this works. So I hope I've helped you today and have a great one. Bye now.